Hi, I'm Richard Iannuzzi. I'm a student and teacher at Long River Tai Chi Circle. And these are the 18 therapies. I was first introduced to them by Maggie Newman at her camp several years ago. And they meant a lot to me because I really took to heart using the chi and not forcing anything. And over the course of repeating them three times a day for a week, I really saw how they could be healing and helpful and really what the chi had to offer us instead of using hard force or strain. So I played with them over these last several years and I find they're really helpful for loosening the body, getting at certain aspects of the Tai Chi principles that we don't necessarily see in the form. Great way to warm up your day, to do before a workout, to do before you do your Tai Chi. That said, so always make sure when you practice the 18 therapies, you stay loose, you stay soft, you let the mind lead the chi and not use force or hard li energy. So I wish you the best with these and thank you. Turning the head to the left, and as much as possible, turning the head to the right. The eyes can move the same direction in the socket as the head. And then up and down. In general, these are in pairs of two, left side, right side, or sets of four. Create a triangle with your thumb and index fingers. Follow the hands as they form fists to the right with the head. And then again to the left. Remembering this is in the spirit of Tai Chi. No straining, no forcing. Everything in the loose mode. And now we'll do four up and down. The shoulders are always dropped, even in positions like this. And just like Tai Chi, don't forget your center line with your feet flat on the ground, your tailbone dropped, your head top suspended. The arms circle all the way up, shoulders stay dropped. As they separate, follow the left hand with the eyes and head, leading with the back of the hand, and then gently rolls over. And then we'll do one to the right. feeling the drop shoulders. Also like Tai Chi, we can feel the air like water. Feel the substance of the air. Caress the air. Massage the air. Backs of the hands, below the ribs in the back where the kidneys are. Palms touch. Draw the prayer hands down by the heart space. And then they continue to drop, come by your triangle again. And three more. As you develop familiarity with these, you can coordinate your movements with the breath. In-breaths go with the upward movement, and out-breath with the downward movement.
We start in the same position. Left arm circles up, shoulder drop, elbow heavy, wrist gently rounded. Like you're shading your eyes from the sun. Look for the easy path, no strain, no forcing. A good bend in the elbow there. Lace the fingers, arms circle up, palms towards the sky. The pattern's a little different here. We incline to the left, leave the weight equally distributed in the two feet, and then come back to center, and this time we go back to the left again. The hands lace again and circle up again, palms to the sky, and incline to the right this time. Mindful not to compress your right side, let your left side expand. The weight will naturally shift, but don't use the weight shift. Leave the feet flat on the ground. The weight equally distributed in the two legs, in the two feet. Palms to sky, fists form. Knees soft, pivot from the hips, send the left arm out. Release the fist, you can break the gently rounded wrist up for a moment there. Shoulders stay drop. Isolate the turn in the hips. Don't strain the knees. Feet stay flat on the ground. The weight stays equally distributed. Again, pairs of two, left side, right side. Now we take a greater than shoulder width or greater than hip width stance. Hands on hips, thumbs to the front. Bend the knees, fold at the hips. The hips are circling four times. The head's going left to start, the hips going right. Again, the feet stay flat on the ground. The weight stays equally distributed on the two legs. When we do rotations, we do four in one direction and then four in the other, four to the right. The hands are there for guidance, not pushing the hips around. The movement comes from the hips. Let the arms dangle. Gently unfurl from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Come back to your hip width, feet parallel. Start again with the triangle. The hand movements are familiar here. The arms circle up. This time as they separate, keep the head centered. And then follow it down, keeping the knees soft. Hang your upper body from your legs, and then repeat three more times. Come back to that greater than hip width stance. Good bend in the knees, palms to sky, fist form. Sit into the right leg and turn to the left. Pivot on the left heel and sit into the left leg. Release the right fist. Reverse the process. 
sit left. And as you turn right, sitting down, keep the tailbone drop, the thumb edge of the released hand, the left hand towards the sky. One more on each side. Try to shift about 70% of your weight into that front leg. Leave the shoulders drop. Try not to draw the fisted elbow, in this case the right elbow, behind you as you sit forward. Now we bring the feet together as much as possible. Lace the hands as before. Arms circle up, palms to the sky again. Bring the head back to resting on the spine. Fold at the hips like you're carving a big circle through the air. And when you get to your low point, release the laced fingers. You go as far as you can go in these exercises. Don't try to go as far as I'm going, or maybe you can go even further. Play to your edge without strain, without hard force, using the chi, soft, open, spacious. Uncompressed, unstrained. Keep the knees soft, the feet flat on the ground, the weight equally distributed in the legs and feet. On these last ones, you can soften the knees to take some pressure off the back. Hands on knees, knee rotations four times to the left. The hands are there for support and guidance. They're not pushing the knees around. They're there for security and information. And then four times to the right. Always gentle, never forcing. And on the last one, gently unfurl your way up. Back to a greater than hip width stance. This is like reverse constant bear. Hands on hips, thumbs to the back. Put all of your weight into the right leg. Good bend in the knees. Leave the other foot, the left foot, flat on the ground. Pass through the center, shift all the weight into the left. Again, the hands are there to give you some information. We're keeping the hips level. We're not twisting the spine. The shoulders are dropped. The ears are over the shoulders. The shoulders are over the hips. Bring the feet back together. Fold your way down, hands on knees, like you're resting your torso on your thighs. And then let the hands dangle. Straighten the knees, keep them soft and unfurl your way up. Three more. Come back to your greater than hip width stance. Put a good bend in the knees, fold at the hips, hands on opposite knees. Without really shifting the weight, drop into your right leg so the left arm can circle up like we did before. Come back to center, sit into the left leg, the right arm rises up. Keep the ball of chi in front of you. The shoulders drop, the elbows heavy, the wrists gently rounded, like you're shading your eyes from the sun. The tailbone is relaxed and hanging. 
Again, one on, two on each side, left, right, left, right. We sit into the right leg, step the left foot forward. As we pour the weight, the arms circle up, the hands circle around, and as the arms rise, they bring the knee with them. Again, you do as much as you can for these postures. You may be able to do more than I can, or less, or the same. Keep the shoulders dropped. Put a lot of attention on the foot that is holding you up. In the center of the foot, with your center line intact, your tailbone dropped, your head top as if suspended from above. Like a bird on the beach, standing on one leg. And then the last one, hands on hips, thumbs to the back. Sit into the right leg, step the left foot forward. Keep the knee soft, the leg straight. Pour the weight 100%, eventually coming off the rear heel. Then rock back, exercise that front ankle. This is good for the arches, the calves, the ankles, and then again. We sit back. 100%, we sit forward, and then this time we take a step. And then on this last one, bring the feet to parallel. Let it settle in, relaxed and aligned and soft. And thank you.